to my space on the internet if you're new here my name is gloria i create content around perfumes middle eastern affordable perfumes designer perfume if this sounds like something you like make sure to click the subscribe button to join this family in today's video i'm going to be reviewing club the new iconic club the new iconic is a perfume that was released last year 2022 by the house of amoth including club units untold club units imperial club units urban man so i have reviewed every other one apart from the club unit iconic which i'll be doing in this video and club unit urban man i've not been able to find that perfume for some reason i don't know okay so for club unit untold club unit imperial you can find um those reviews on my channel this is the bottle it comes in this pack right it comes in this pack this is what the bottle looks like so club the neat iconic is a masculine perfume that, but like i always say perfume appeal to different people so it does not matter it just matters about the kind of perfume you like there are some ladies who like to wear perfumes that are for men because they are fresh and spicy most of the time so that is why some ladies like to wear perfumes that are for men so what i would say to you is wear what you like wear what appeals to you it doesn't matter if it's male or female if it appeals to you just wear it okay so this perfume is um marketed as masculine perfume but i like it i wear it sometimes so i don't know if you're that kind of person too that enjoy um this kind of perfume you can actually wear it too as a female okay so this perfume is tube for blue de chanel and this perfume is versatile is outgoing you can wear it to the office you can wear it to hang out you can dress it up or you can dress it down depending on um what you want okay so i will start by testing out the atomizer okay this is this is what it's okay the atomizer is not bad yes it's not bad it dispenses um reasonably okay it dispenses reasonably in the air it smells like dior sauvage and blue de chanel but when you give it a little bit time it starts to smell more like blue de chanel i'm not comparing this and blue de chanel but i will do another video where i will compare this to blue de chanel and to um afna 9 am dive because that one as well is a clone or dupe for blue de chanel so i will compare this to that one and blue de chanel if they really truly smell like blue de chanel i will do that in another video so watch out for that video okay for the packaging of this perfume it comes in this pack and it's a regular pack most of their perfume actually comes in this kind of pack but in different colors so this one is blue and gray okay this is just like a blue and gray color it's just a typical amount pack right for the bottle for me personally i like the the dazzling effects that the bottle has other than that i don't like this right here the design right here i don't like it but some people like it but i don't like the design right here so for the packaging for the presentation it's not my cup of tea for the bottle i would give it a six over ten for the for the bottle is a six for me and then for the atomizer as well is a six as well so but for the juice of this perfume i would spray it here okay i'll let it settle for a bit before i'll let it settle for a bit before i smell it so this perfume i have smelt it before okay i've smelt it before i've worn it for some time so that i can really tell you what i think about Notes this of this perfume at the top you have grapefruit you have grapefruit you have mint you have lemon you have coriander pink pepper and at the middle you have ginger nutmeg jasmine and melon while at the base you have sandalwood amber incense 
um, cedar, patchouli, woody notes, and labdanum. When you spray this perfume and as first sniff, at first sniff, you just know that this perfume is a spicy perfume. It's fresh, spicy. It's equally aromatic. You, you know, it has mint at the top. It's aromatic it, and as well, it's woody. Okay, but the woodiness you don't get it at the top. When you spray it, you don't get you don't you don't smell it and think this is a woody perfume. No. The woodiness in the perfume comes later, later in the dry down, okay? So this perfume is something you can wear to the office. You can wear it to a party as well. This is that kind of perfume that would um, get you compliment as a man. A lot of people would like this kind of scent because it is not over overwhelming. Even when you spray too much of it, it is not choky. You, you just know that you spray too much, but it will, it will project, but not in a bad way, okay? This perfume is a perfume that many people will like on you. If you're a man, if you're a female, they would compliment you on this. If you're going on a date, you can dress it up. If you're going to parties, you can act well dress it up if you're going for you know hangout casual dates you know just going for a walk you can dress it down as well you can wear it when the sun is out but not too much of it because it's very very loud yes it's very loud but not in a bad way you know some of these perfumes with oud when you smell them they tend to be very warm and very loud this one is loud but it's not very overwhelming. It, I would consider this Club Denise Iconic to be a fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, and citrus kind of scent. You get that very vibrant, fresh citrus note. It is there, you smell it. So it, it gives you this fresh, calming effect of citrus, okay? So yeah, this perfume is it's average for me okay it's average is good is nice if this is kind of perfume that tickle your fancy then i would say you should check this one out okay so for performance of this perfume it has good longevity and it has good projection as well if you wear it people will smell you people around you will smell you okay and if you wear it on your skin it will last you for about eight hours on your skin depending on how your skin actually reacts to it so if you're like me that like fresh perfumes a lot you can actually rock this perfume without any problem and don't worry i know that people associate fresh perfume with men but if you want it to um, give you like a, a kind of new character or um something not too fresh then you can layer it with something fruity to you know make it a little bit feminine for you but if you don't mind wearing it like that as a female then go right ahead and wear it but if you do then you can layer it with something fruity and sweet so it will bring out a little bit of sweetness inside of it it's actually um sweet but it's not fruity sweet it's citrus sweet okay so yeah for price of this perfume this perfume goes for 40,000. It retails for 40,000. If you're lucky, you can get it lesser than that, depending where you buy it from. But the retail of this is from 35,000 to 40,000, depending on where you're buying it from. Okay, so what is the occasion? What is the weather? This perfume, you can wear it during winter. You can as well wear it during summer. If you're going to the office, you can wear it. If you're going to parties, you can wear it. If you're going to see a friend, you can wear it. So what is my take on this perfume? My take on this perfume is the fact that, yes, I like it. It smells like Blue de Chanel. If you have, um, if you're on a low budget and you want Blue de Chanel, you can buy this one for the time being until you're able to afford Blue de Chanel. So this perfume um, is actually a great alternative for Blue de Chanel, okay? Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. I will see you in my next video. My name is Gloria. I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.